Ingram's heiress used family fortune to finance sex cults, say the feds. Seagram's liquor heiress, Claire Bronfman, used her family fortune to buy an entire Ireland, island, the private plane to get there, and the feds say to bankroll a sex cult. On Tuesday, the 39-year-old, who is worth roughly $200 million, was busted on racketeering charges for her role in running Nexium alongside three other high-ranking members. The arrests are part of an ongoing federal investigation into the group's leader, Keith Renier, and his right-hand woman, former Smallville star Allison Mack. Renier and Mack are charged with sex trafficking and conspiracy for allegedly coercing women into joining a secretive master-slave society within Nexium, where, quote, slaves were forced to pleasure Renier, have his initials permanently branded onto their skin, and perform free labor. In Brooklyn, the federal court Tuesday, a gaunt Bronfman pleaded not guilty to allegations that she conspired with Renier to steal email passwords from his, quote, perceived enemies, racked up charges on the credit card of his dead ex-girlfriend, and laundered money to help a non-citizen fraudulently gain entry to the U.S. Bronfman was part of an, a, quote, inner circle of loyalists who committed a broad range of serious crimes from identity theft to obstruction of justice to sex trafficking, all to promote and protect Renier and Nexium. A U.S. attorney, Richard Dunno, said in a statement, uh, Bronfman faces up to 20 years behind bars if found guilty, a stunning change in circumstances for a woman who could have had anything in the world she wanted. Bronfman and her older sister, Sarah, are the daughters of the late Canadian billionaire Edgar Bronfman Sr. and a British barmaid turned socialite 20 years his junior. She was his third of four, four wives, and they were the youngest of his seven kids. Backed by hefty trust fund, party girl Sarah spent her 20s flitting around the globe trying to find herself while her more serious Claire pursued a, pursued a career as an elite equestrian show jumper. Sarah was the first, Sarah was the first to fall into Nexium's thrall, taking one of its self-help workshops in 2002 at the age of 25, when a marriage to an Irish jockey fell apart after seven months, according to a McLean's report. She soon roped in Claire, then 23, who hoped the life coaching organization could help her in her quest for a spot on the U.S. Olympic equestrian team. Instead, they became full-time devotees of Renier, known as the Vanguard, in the organization where followers earn colored sashes as they coughed up more money to ascend the ranks. Coming from a family where I've never had to earn anything in my life, it was a very moving experience for me to be awarded this yellow sash. It was the first thing that I had ever earned just on my merits, Sarah Bronfman explained in a 2003 Forbes article. Claire made it to the Olympic trials in 2004, but gave up on horse riding after Renier told her she had better things to do with her time, an insider told Vanity Fair. At first, the sisters convinced their elderly dad to take Nexium's $10,000 VIP course, but he soon soured on the organization and became estranged from his daughters when he heard Claire had lent Nexium $2 million, according to a Vanity Fair report. I think it's a cult, he later told Forbes. The sisters quickly ascended to the top of the Albany-based organization thanks more to their bank balances than any business acumen, and that $2 million had ballooned into as much as $150 million by 2010, including a $66 million that Renier lost from the commodities market and an $11 million on a private jet, according to Vanity Fair. Sarah eventually married a wealthy Libyan businessman, moved abroad with him, and had kids, but Claire has remained in Renier's inner circle. Nexium's intense self-improvement classes had, at one point, earned it thousands of adherents, including some of Hollywood some with some Hollywood ties. They include Nikki Klein, an actress who appeared on Battlestar Galactica, a son of a former Mexican president, Carlos Salinas de Gortari, and India Oxenberg, daughter of Dynasty's actress 
Catherine and Oxenberg. But Nexium expanded well beyond its beginnings as merely a sketchy executive self-help organization. Indeed, from its beginnings in the late 1990s, prosecutors alleged that Renier kept, quote, a rotating group of 15 to 20 women from the group as his personal harem. But in 2015, feds allege things got seriously twisted when he and Mac created a secret master-slave sorority within Nexium called the Vow or DOS, prosecutors allege. Mac duped women from Nexium into joining and handling and handing over damaging collateral by saying it was a woman's empowerment group, and then groomed them as slaves for Venier. Claire Bronfman said she was never in the society. <laughs> Excuse me. Claire Bronfman says she was never in the society, but prosecutors say she, she still aided Venier in his criminal dealings by, among other things, continuing to dip into the $8 million bank account of one of Renier's former lovers after she died of cancer last year. That woman, Pamela Kaffritz, was the daughter of a DC A-listers, William and Buffy Kaffritz, or Kaffritz, I'm saying that name right. Keith Renier's girlfriend had been paying for his expenses, and when she died, they kept using the card for expenses, Bronfman's defense attorney, Susan Nekalese, said in court on Tuesday. I'm not sure if I'm saying this name right, but Nekalese, the attorney for Bronfman, a high-powered lawyer who, among others, has represented disgraced Mayor Bill de Blasio donor Jonah Rechnitz, added that the, allega the allegations about stealing passwords are a decade old. She has been having a fight with her father and allegedly had someone break into her father's computer, said Nekalese. The judge set a stunning $100 million bail secured against 50 million of her assets and placed Bronfman under house arrest, agreeing with prosecutors that she is a significant flight risk thanks to her huge wealth, private jet, and an island she part owns in Fiji. She's also forbidden from contact with other members of the cult until details of the bail are finalized on Friday. When Nekali is objected, giving the Bronfman sisters, also known Nexium members, Judge Nicholas, uh, when Nekali is objected, given that the Bronfman sisters are also Nexium members, Judge Nicholas Garofis snapped, doesn't she have Netflix? Resp he responded irritably, let her watch Netflix between now and Friday. Quote, if you're telling me she can't be staying, staying away from people who are part of this alleged criminal organization for a couple of days, Maybe I'm making the wrong decision. One of the co-signers of the bail is Sarah Bronfman, who will now have to fly back from where she now lives in France by Friday. When Nekali said that might be tough given she has two young kids, the judge said too bad. She can manage, he snapped, tell her she can bring the kids to New York, they can see a play, make suggestions. Um, Garofis, judge Garofis, looking over the financial documents to support her bail application, asked, her Fiji properties are listed at 40 million. That's an island, Bronfman's attorney explained. She bought an island, Bronfman's marveled. It's a resort she's developing in Fiji, Nekli said. 47 million is what she paid for it. Also arrested Tuesday was the cult's co-founder, Nancy Salzman, her daughter Lauren, and Kathy Russell, Nexium's longtime bookkeeper, for their alleged roles in aiding Renier. Lauren, who's been accused of forming slaves and being one of the masters in the group, is alleged to have committed forced labor, extortion, and wire fraud. Prosecutors allege that she kept a former sexual partner of Renier's confined to a room for two years after the woman developed feelings for another man, threatening to dump her in Mexico with no ID if she didn't comply. Lauren eventually made good on the threats they claim. All three were arraigned in Albany, where they pleaded not guilty.